Hi, I'm Stephen Simon, co-founder of the Spiritual Cinema Circle, with a look at the films in Volume 9, September, in the Circle. Our feature this month is called Frank vs. God, and here's the theatrical trailer. Allow me to ask you one question, sir. Do you know that God loves you? Other damages due to extraordinary weather conditions will be deemed acts of God and not covered under said policy. Acts of God? All right, God. Here I am, in your house. And I want to know, did you destroy my house? And what if he did? Then God should pay for it! Should pay for it! Then God should pay for it! The body of Christ? Bishop Bernardo Rossini? Yes, my son? You've been served. You're suing someone in a court of law. I'm suing God. Congratulations, Miss Levin. You are now officially God's law. <laughs> you ready to tangle with the big guy? Let's do this, Hefe. Just like to say that I'm looking forward to a good, clean fight. I know that God is a tough and formidable opponent, but I think I can take him, huh? Do you even believe in God, Mr. Frank? Why? What do you tell you? Sorry. Attorney client privilege. Proof of the existence of God is all around us, if we choose to see it. No evidence. You people, always looking for someone to blame. Us people? Lawyers. So you can deny God and still be a Jew? Well, maybe not really a Jew, but Jew-ish. Mazel tov! This clown's turning my courtroom into a circus. He done the wrath, he can do the math. He can do the math. I don't have any answers. Only questions. Lots of questions. The question is, how can you blame God when you don't even believe that he exists? I'm sorry, but bad things happen to good people, good things happen to bad people, and horrible things happen to innocent people. And I don't know how to find any meaning in it. Fighting with God isn't going to bring her back. This is the big truth, man. He knows everything. He can do anything. He is everywhere. And I reserve the right to call God to the stand. Can I get a witness? There were days when I would lay on the couch and look at the ceiling and think, this is what I'm going to do today. And, and know intellectually, maybe even emotionally, that that wasn't normal. Our shorts this month start off with a wonderful, uplifting documentary called Not a Stranger. A filmmaker who has been suffering from clinical depression for years finally inspires himself to move beyond his comfort zone and to do a documentary talking to strangers at least one every day for a year. Who he discovers and what he discovers about himself is uplifting, poignant, and powerful, and goes to show that there are no strangers. We just don't know each other's stories. Hit the nail on the head. I'm a functional alcoholic. Yeah, okay, that's cool. I'm a sober alcoholic myself. In Welcome to Willow's Brook, we meet a teenage boy delivering groceries who's in for the surprise of his life. When he meets a woman who has decided to accomplish her bucket list in a very unique way with very unique timing. Along the way, we understand what it means to love our neighbors and to do something special for each other, regardless of what moment in life we're at. Heartbreak and Beauty is a magical short that we experience with our hearts. Shot over a period of 10 months and developed by the people who star in it, Heartbreak and Beauty is a visual poem with metaphors, music, poetry, and love that show how interconnected we are all to each other and how we find passion in our lives in the way we express our individuality our love, our hopes, and our dreams. Those are the films for September. We hope you enjoy them, and I look forward to seeing you next month in The Circle.